Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today we are discussing about encoding of convolutional code. There are two types of encoding of convolutional code. This is, that is, first one is impulse response method or time domain representation and the second one is transform domain representation. Now in this class we are discussing about time domain representation or impulse response method. Okay. Now here we use impulse responses to get V1 and V2 to generate the code word. Okay. In order to generate the code word we get V1 and V2 output. Okay. So V1 means output of first terminal and V2 means output of second terminal for a 212 convolutional encoder. Okay. For a 2 one two convolution encoder in this we have this is n comma k comma m we have two output one input and two shift registers so since we have two output we have v1 and v2 is output and the combination of v1 and v2 we get the code word okay so then g1 response we get the response of g1 we get the v1 and g2 response we get v2 we have we have already studied how we calculate the code word from a uh, encoding circuit okay now generally we have g1 g1 is equal to g11 g21 g31 etc gm1 that is g1 means this is the uh, connections or the generator uh, polynomial uh, or, or generator sequence of first output Okay, that is one will be placed here. That is the G response or G sequence generator sequence of first output. That is G1. That is G1, G2, G3, etc. GM of first output. Then G2 means the uh, generator sequence of second output that can be written as G12, G22, G32, etc. GM2. This is the generator sequence of second output. Okay, so G1 is corresponded to generator sequence of first output and G2 is corresponding to generator sequence of uh, second output. Okay, these sequences are called generator sequences that is G1 and G2 that is connections, right. In general, GN that is generator sequence of nth output can be written as g1n g2n g3n etc gmn okay so the output code word can be written as v1 is equal to uh, u into g1 v2 is equal to u into g2 etc we get generally vn that is output code word vn is equal to u into gn that is we have already studied about linear block code that is v is equal to mg okay or let m be the message let u be the message then v code word is equal to u into generator matrix g okay that is uh, the code word v is equal to for a linear block word let u be the input message then it can be written as u into g generator matrix likewise in this convolutional encoder the code word the output of first code word v1 is equal to u means the message into g1 okay that is not into this is convolution sorry this is u convolution g1 and v2 is equal to u convolution g2 and etc vn is equal to u let u be the message signal and g is the gn is the generator sequence then v of n that code word of output n v of n is equal to u convolution g of n since the name is called uh, name uh, this this method name is called convolutional code because we get the code word by convoluting message sequence u convolution generator sequence g of n this is how we are forming or we are generating a code word in convolutional code by using impulse response method okay now consider the problem let u is equal to that is message u is equal to 10111 and generator sequence g1 is equal to 1011 and g2 is equal to 1111 find the output code word of 212 convolutional encoder okay so we want to find the output code word so in order to find the output code word we want to find v1 and v2 by combining v1 and v2 we will we will get the output okay so we have 
first we want to find v1 then we have v1 is equal to u in the g1 so we have already given u is equal to 10 111 convolution g1 g1 is equal to 1011 so we can find this by two method the first method is direct multiplying these two binary terms that is 10 111 into 1011 so by direct multiplication we get 1 into 11 1 into 11 1 into 11 0 1 then 1 into this term is 1 1 1 0 1 then 0 into this term is 0 0 0 0 0 0 One into this term is one, 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 zero, one. Now add all these term. We get we get this as one modulo two addition. One plus one is zero. 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 And we have zero here and one here. So this is. output v1 so we get v1 as 1 0 0 0 0 one okay now this can be written like or we can find this by in this way also that is we can write One of the message here that is one zero one 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 one, and the G one here that is one zero one one. Okay, now by linear convolution we know that how we are finding one into this term we get one into all this term that is one zero one 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 zero into all this term we get zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, we can write like this. Okay, now one into this term we get one zero one 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 zero one one one. Okay, multiplying one with the this term. Now we can. Uh, draw a line like this. This is how we are finding. Sorry. Okay. Now we get we one output as now add this. That is here we have only one. Then one put one here. Add these two. That is zero, one zero one. We get one. Sorry, one zero one. We get zero. One zero zero one. We get zero. Zero one zero one. Okay. We are just drawing a diagonal line here. One plus zero plus one plus zero. We have zero. Zero plus one plus one. We have zero. One plus one. We have zero. Then one. So both are same. That is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, zero, and one. So either we can find by this method or we can find by this method. This is the convolutional method, and this is simply multiplying. Okay. Now similarly, we want to find v two. Okay. Now in order to find v two, we have v. Two is equal to u into g two. That is, u is one zero one one one, and g two is convolution. G two is one 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 one. So we can uh, compute any of this method by using any of this method. That is, by multiplication, we can write one zero. One 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 into one 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 one. Now by multiplying one into all, we 
we get 1 1 1 0 1 1 into we get 1 1 1 0 1 1 into this term we get 1 1 1 0 1 1 into last 1 into this term we get 1 1 1 0 1 so add all these and we get 1 here so only 1 here so we get 1 1 plus 1 we get 0 1 plus 1 we get 0 0 plus 1 we will get 1 1 plus 1 we will get 0 0 plus 1 we will get 1 ok 1 plus 1 we will get 0 0 plus 1 we will get 1 then 1 plus 1 we will get 0 1 plus 0 we will get 1 then 1 here so this is V2 the output V2 we get the output V2 as 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so this is how we get V2 output so similarly in this method also we can write V2 as V2 as 1 0 1 1 1 into 1 convolution 1 1 1 1 ok so by using this method 1 into all this term will get 1 0 1 1 1 similarly 1 into this term we get 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so by drawing a diagonal like this okay we get v2 is equal to here we have only 1 then 1 plus 0 we get 1 then 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 0 then we get 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 1 ok 1 2 3 4 then 0 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 is 0 then we have 1 here so we get 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so we get v1 and v2 here so by combining the v1 and v2 value we can write the v combination ok now how we write the v ok we can write v ok ok by combining v1 and v2 we can write the code word v ok the code word final code word v as first we take the first element of v1 and we take the second first element of v2 that is 1 1 ok then we take the second element of v1 then v2 that is 0 1 ok 0 1 then next we take third element that is 0 0 then we take the fourth element 1 2 3 4 that is 0 1 then we get the other fifth element 0 1 the other element is 0 1 next is 0 0 the last one is 1 1 so the answer is 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 ok so by combining v1 and v2 we can write the final code word v ok so that's all about impulse response method ok thank you